Good morning, Rawlings. <laughs> Here we are. Just gonna check the native and make sure everything is tied down before I take off. This is a really nice, I like this lock. It's uh, a boat locker by Yakima. Just gives me a little peace of mind because anybody can undo those. So just make sure it's all still here. Don't have any problems with tires or shredded anything. Car looks okay. And uh, yeah. So today is going to be. Uh, well, it's a later start than I planned, but that's okay. I needed rest. I worked all day, drove five hours. I did a video to like one in the morning. So yeah, I don't know why I planned that, but that's how it went. And uh, so today, South Dakota, I'm gonna try and get some fishing in either uh, Wyoming side. I got like a one day license for today if I decide to go fishing. Um, Probably just some shore fishing if it's Wyoming. And then on to, to uh, South Dakota. Got lots to see. I'm excited. I think uh, this is a good scout trip. You know, I'm not gonna be able to obviously see everything in a day, but it gives me an idea of places that I might wanna come back and explore more, so. That gas up. the North Platte River and uh, it runs through Wyoming goes into Nebraska how oh, does it run into the Missouri I'm not sure but boy that is I'm sure I don't step on a snake that thing is moving I'm not sure I could do that in my native Titan that looks a little fast for me I'd have to pedal really hard that was cool checking out that river, but I gotta be honest, I've never kayak fished a river. I mean, I guess you could say Kentucky Lake is part of Tennessee River, or Lake Seminole is part of the Flint River system, but not an actual river river. So <laughs> La Crosse, Wisconsin might be the closest I've come to a river river. I have no clue what to do in rivers. No experience in rivers. Uh, I went whitewater rafting once a long time ago. I can't even remember when, maybe high school or something like that. But yeah, that is moving too fast for me. I'm more of a slow river float. <laughs> Alright, so I just realized I screwed up. <laughs> it took less than 24 hours, which is uh, pretty normal. <laughs> uh, you know, I I originally thought I'm if I saw something I might go fish it, but I hadn't really planned to fish Wyoming at all this trip and then spur of the moment last night I was like, oh let's I'm gonna go right by a lake. Let's just go fish that. So I got a one day fishing license. But problem, 
I don't, when you're in Utah, like you can fish from the shore, which is honestly what I'm gonna have to do because I don't have an up-to-date aquatic invasive species sticker. You have to have a sticker on your watercraft that it's uh, that you have to pay to the state. And I have one, but it expired in 2019 and it's 2020. Woo! This is like a cool little town. It smells so good right here. Oh my gosh. It's like forest and pine and like pie. I am definitely coming back here. And I'm gonna fish off those cliffs with my kayak. Tell you what. Look how pretty this is. These are all cliffs. I don't think you can fish from this very easily. without falling off, well I could, without falling off the cliff. <sighs> it's fishing still, it counts. If I catch a fish though, <laughs> that'd be sort of crazy. There's gotta be some down there. Has to be. All right. Not really spinner bait, maybe. Maybe this though. As long as I don't fall in the water, that would be good. If I was a smallmouth, that's where I would be. Right down in there. I'm gonna laugh if I catch a dang fish off this stupid cliff. Never thought I'd be cliff fishing, did ya? All right, look for snakes. We don't want any snakes out here. All right, things we do to go fish, but not as much of one. That's not bad. This is, I can work with this. You can work with it. Maybe. Let's see what happens. Give it a try. Maybe we'll get something in here. Maybe, you never know. I bet that dam's fun to fish on. I thought to myself, hey, this reminds me of Jordan L. Let me just put my Ned rig in there and uh, 
you can see the result of that. <laughs> I got, I actually had a, a fish on and it wound me up in some weeds or something out there. And like a dork, I pulled way too hard and broke off my Ned rig. Things I learned today. One, check ahead of time what kind of uh, things you need for your watercraft. I just totally spaced Wyoming because it was a big trip and I honestly didn't think I was gonna fish here. Two, when you're driving and it's 90 degrees out, maybe wear shorts in case you actually wanna go somewhere. So, third thing I learned, set aside some tackle in the car just a little bit so when you do get a fish and it gets caught in the weeds and you pull too hard and you lose your Ned rig and the fish, you could actually put your stuff back in without digging through your freaking trailer. Ta-da! <laughs> Anyways, onwards. We got a lot of driving still left to do. I got to try and see if I can get to Devil's Tower. I don't even know if it's open, but then uh, the Badlands and so on. So <sighs> this is fun. You guys should come here if you're in Wyoming. Plan, a, you know, want to go look camping somewhere. You got to make reservations, but look how pretty this lake is. It's gorgeous.